What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to organize your day so you can get stuff done and actually take action on things because so many people just don't do anything because information overload, they don't know where to start, or just how to plan their day to be efficient. Now I don't work a ton, I don't work long hours, but I'm very efficient with doing things and very consistent, which is why I can get a lot done in a shorter period of time and not have to work super long hours. Now, the tool I'm going to be using, I've shown you guys before, it's called Trello.com. Pretty much you can create a board. It's kind of for organization, uh, to-do list. There's a bunch of cool features you can use. I use it very, very simply um, and almost use it like sticky notes per se. It's kind of like an online whiteboard is the best way to put it. So what I'll do is you guys can ignore this column right here is I'll have multiple different lists. Now, each one of these is considered a list and I'll have one for just a general what I need to do. So I'll have my to-do list of just random things on here that need to be done. They don't have a time date, but just kind of a reminder that I want to do those things or just a huge list of that. And then I'll write down my tasks I do every day. Uh, I do once a week and I do once a month. So I have things I have to do every Monday. I have to do this, 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 or every single day I need to do this, this, and this. And that's what these cards are right here. So daily, these are all things I need to do on a daily basis. And you can write these off. You can have like a done list and a to-do list so you know what you've done and you can kind of just pull these over here if you complete one of them. So I have it daily, things I need to do weekly. And you can write comments in here. You can add labels. You can have a team in here on this. You can add attachments or even a due date. So I could say, okay, I need to do this by the 12th for this. And then you can see the date you need to do it. And I have the same thing for monthly, things I do once a month. Now that I have all those lists of things I need to do, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, I then create, usually I'll go week by week for the cards and then I'll have a monthly card here, which I haven't done yet. But for like Monday, I'd come in here and I'd say, okay, what's on my to-do list for next week? Okay, I have to write an ebook, I have to build a new email funnel. So I'd then put those in kind of any day of the week that I want, unless it has a specific due date. Uh, for example, some of my weekly things have to be done on a Sunday, on a Monday, on a Monday. So I'd say, okay, on Monday, I need to record profits and pay my thumbnail guy. So then I'd say, all right, here on Monday, we're going to record profit. And then I'd put thumbnails and then I'd say, okay, what else can I do? Obviously, everything from daily will go into each single day here. So everything from this list. And then I'll look at my to-do list and I'll kind of break these up. And I will leave some room on days of the week because I know I will have more tasks that I'm not thinking about right now that I'll need to get done. And then once this week is here, you can drag this and put it into March and create different weeks in here or even have a yearly card and make it very, very big. But that's pretty much the only thing I do. I'll create a just an overview of what needs to be done. So all the little tasks I need to do. And then I'll break up my month into weeks and days. And then I'll put things, this helped me a lot, having the daily things I do every day that I can't miss, that have to be done every day, they're all done. And then I'll put my to-do and then just filling in these where it's needed on the weekly so they have a date. Because when you don't have specific due dates, it makes it a lot more difficult to get things done. Like in high school, I'd wait till the last night to write every essay just because I like to procrastinate. But if they're here and you know you have to do it, you already chose, okay, I have to get this one done this done Monday, I have to get this done Thursday, it makes it a lot easier. And then I like to have different boards for just different ideas. So this one, I have some video ideas in here uh, for different topics. So these are just video ideas and I'll just organize like that. Most of the time I'll write stuff on my whiteboard. I'll take a picture of it with my phone, file share it right here, not file share, airdrop it here. And then I'll put it into Trello, which makes it easy to organize and see. And again, you guys can add attachments to this. If you want to, you can move them anywhere, copy them, and you can add other people in here if they have to do with a team. So for my software board, I have a bigger board with people on it and a things that need to get done, things that are a priority, things that are already done, things we're thinking about but we're not gonna touch for a couple months. So break it up as much as you need to. I don't need tons of detail because I know what needs to be done. But for you, you might like having the exact details on what you need to do when and how, so that might help you. So that's gonna be all for this one, guys. Pretty short, very simple, but I do get asked a lot how I organize my day or how I get things done. 
and it's really through this. It's like a whiteboard for your computer, which is why I love it if you can't tell with the whiteboard behind me. So hope you guys got some value from that. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow.